This conference will now be recorded. Did you hear my voice? Hello. We can hear it. Yes, sir. We can hear. You. Yes, yes. Yes, sir. So last class we discussed about what is Planck, why is Planck and where is Planck and then we have a discussion of components of Planck. So we have a components like indexer, search it, forwarders, deployments of a cluster master, license manager and deployer. These are the seven important components, very, very important components with these components only. Indexer, search it, forwarders and deployments of a cluster master, license manager and deployer. So in that indexer, search it, forwarders are the most, most important configuration components. Whereas deployment server, cluster master, license manager, deployer or optimal components. First, I will go with the indexer, search it, forwarders. So now, suppose for have, I have a sub data. Suppose I have a data in web server, some test server. I have some data in net server. And I have some data in sub DB server. So this is my forwarder. This is my forwarder. Actually, this is my forwarder. Splunk. So I have installed in the Splunk in the. These are my client mission. Customer mission. So let's say this is web server. And this is my test server. And this is my net server. And this is my example DB server example. And these all are my client servers. These are my client servers. Assume that these are in USA. These are in so to get to monitor these servers, I install the Splunk software in their servers and I will configure the inputs and outputs. Based on the inputs, it will collect the data. Based on the outputs, it will forward the data to a specified server, what you are, like you said, whatever the server you are telling, that server, that's we call it as some other Splunk server. This is my some other Splunk server. Again, this we call it as Splunk only. In this server, we have a storage like main is default. And you can create a custom index as also custom index. Default index. And custom index also like web index, test index net index and db index these are our custom custom indexes this is one index main this is another index this is another index this is another index and this is my another index. Now, this is the default, you know, 
and these are the custom custom indexes indexes now whatever the data in this server will be search by search head separate server called search head like again splunk only this is also a splunk only so here you will write your spl query spl means searching or splunk processing language this is a own language for splunk such as splunk processing language it is a own language for splunk so we can write like this index equals to some db index source type which type of data it should be source source equals to employee the employee data source type equals to server employee data server source type equals to employee data then top employee name employee id salary department number salary so like that you can search over it so that it will be creative a visualization And this will be scheduled also. So if I have charts, you can click your charts also. Bar chart, whatever you want, you can. And then we will will be save as reports. Alerts, dashboards, and this will be scheduled to emails or endpoints. So now, if you have a client missions, if the client missions are there, so the client missions will be collected the data with the help of Splunk. The Splunk will collect the data from the servers, client servers. and the data will be forwarded to a some other server called again splunk and splunk will maintain the storages and storage will be such by some other server called splunk again that we call it as a uh, with the help of spl query now see here whatever the splunk installs on the client missions we call it as a forwarder whatever the server which is used to store the data call it as a indexer whatever the server which are installed on splunk which is used for the searching purpose it is called as a search head do you got my point now so why why these three components we needed for example if you want to install if you want to monitor your laptop within the laptop we install the splunk and we can collect the inputs and we can store there itself and you can search and visualize there itself okay if the data is some other place that time i want to get the data from some other place remote servers so we need to install the splunk component there itself and you need to get back the get the data from the splunk uh, component called forwarder 
and the forwarder will collect the data and forward the data to a some other server called index index will stores the data uh, with their different retention policies and the whatever the data will be searchable by indexer itself why because indexer means plunk only you can search it but due to some performance issues we don't search our data in indexer level we can search our data in search head level suppose this is ravi i am the splunk right now so now i am doing the interview support also and i am doing other activities also if i am capable i can do everything with my hand itself if i am not capable what i will do for teaching purpose i will i will recruit one more person okay and for management person i will recruit one more person same like that within the requirements based on our requirements if it is in single server you can install our spun server uh, there itself one second please sorry So whatever the, sorry, I'm sorry, extremely sorry for this. So whatever the data in some other clients, that server will be installed, uh, our component will be installed on servers and then based on our requirement, we will collect the data from the server and we will forward the data to a, some other server called the indexer again. So indexer will store the data and whatever the storing data will be searchable by search head. Okay. So based on our requirement, we can use these components. So all based on our requirements only we can use our components. Then the requirement will be not fulfilled. Then another components will be coming to the picture. So now, so the requirement is that forwarder, indexer, such a. What is the purpose of forwarder? What is the purpose of indexer? And what is the purpose of such a? We will discuss today. Do you have any questions up to now? Please ask me. So these are the Splunk forwarders. If it is a remote client mission, the client okay. So and then whatever the Splunk forwarder will be installed on the client missions based on the inputs, based on the outputs, the data will be collected and out forward to a some other server called an indexer. Indexer will receive the data. Indexer will receive the data and they will maintain the data in indexers. They will maintain the data in indexers. That main is the default index and web test net or the customized indexes which was created on a created by a admins. Whatever the data stored in these indexes will be searched by search with the help of SPL query. So that we call it a search processing language. With the help of search processing language, we can search it and we can create a different statistics and different visualizations, and that visualizations and statistics will be saved as a reports, alerts, and dashboards. And whatever the reports, alerts, dashboard by the creating a SPL query will be scheduled to emails 
or to set end users with the help of other activities also we will see later what are the end points what are the end users we will see later about this but simple way for example you have a data in some other place for example i have a data in which one like for example i have a data in uh, santosh santosh laptop i want to get the data from santosh laptop what i will do i will install the spun software in santosh laptop that software we call it as a forwarder that forwarder will be configured with inputs and outputs short config so in inputs santosh data will be collected and in outputs the santosh data collected data will be forwarded to a some other server called a indexer indexer will receive the data okay based on the inputs and it will stores the data in specified indexes for example santosh is sending the data now so in this we will create a santosh index why because to maintain the santosh data it is santosh index so what is the purpose of creating santosh index again yeah not I'm sorry, here some technical issue are there. I will call you in personally and I will inform you. So please drop here. I will continue on class on tomorrow. Okay, Ravis.